Hello, this is not a spring chicken, as you can see. Oh yeah, this is some of the advantages coming back from the Susan Dance, is you end up with things like this from Spirit Hood. Okay, so you have a little bit of fun. But meanwhile, I know, we're getting back into the, the what do you want to call it? The, um, <laughs> I can't even think of the word. Um, we're getting back into everything because, you know, everybody I know is recovering still from Sundance. Meanwhile, we're going to bring old Kim on with comments on the headlines of today. So I said they should be conservative Republicans. No, they used to be. And Democrats cheering Obama attacks the Republican-controlled government. I know. Um, Obama controls the White House, Obama controls the Senate, and Obama controls the judiciary. So this is why they said Hubert Humphrey was famous for saying the Democrats tend to form themselves in a circle and shoot one another. Because they control everything and are trying to blame it on the Republicans. I mean, just a few minutes ago. Oh, Obama just got through blaming the Republicans for the high cost of gas because they are stopping his green energy programs everywhere. And that's why we're dependent more upon foreign oil than we used to be. No, our dependency has shrank because one, nobody's working. Two, nobody can afford to go anywhere. And three, when you can't afford the product, you stop buying it. Oh, yeah. And Obama decries rising cost of college education. Oh. Uh, yeah, considering the colleges are all ran by the left, they aren't ran by the right. So who is it that is raising the cost? Is it, re is it the conservatives who are trying to get college education for people? No, I mean, um, I, I can try to put it this way. My father, I went to college, even though I really didn't want to go, because my father said, if I could go to college during the Great Depression, and your mother could go to Columbia University, then you sure as hell can go to college too, son. Uh -huh. And Democrats feel that minorities should be allowed to vote wherever and whenever they see fit. Well, that's what they're talking about. They're upset because Florida put a mandate saying you can't, you know, a week in advance of the election is more than enough. Not that, like, six months that they were using before. Mm -hmm. And now, their view, this is a direct thing to stop minorities. It's, it's, it's Jim Crow, Jack Crow. No, it's not. It's called... The state's busted. You can't have an election that never ends. And one of the guys said this morning from, from, he's a Democrat in Florida, said, he said if the party leaders have their way, the day after the election, the next election, would, the next voting would start with the, you know, people going to the same polls. Mm. And the parent company of an electric car battery makes, maker that received a $118 million grant from the Obama administration filed for Chapter 11 bankruptcy protection on Thursday. Oh, okay, they said you know, BSA. There, Obama is 100% accurate on picking bad choices in green energy because every company he has put money into has failed. Because they can't, there, there isn't enough money available. Spain tried it. Spain is bankrupt. Spain has got the largest unemployment in Europe because they discovered for every green job you create, you lose four other jobs. And green energy will someday be, it will work, but right now it doesn't. It just, it, um, um, I remember, what was it, I think Ken Howard, the head of screen actor, you know, talking to Jane Fonda once about the fact, yes, I am a scientist, I do know this, I do know that, and I know that we're not here there, we will be someday, which is why we have to fund research, but we are not where you want us to be, and we may not be there in our lifetime. This is what Obama's trying to do, he's trying to push something that isn't going to happen for maybe 20 or 30 years today, and if you, you know, well, like, what does the average vote cost per automobile? $250,000. I know. Vote. And there's Which means they that, lose a lot of money on every yeah, single vote. they lose over Not just a little bit, a lot. 200 and about $20,000 on every vehicle they, they sell, they lose. Which is why the government's the only one buying the votes. And Obama did not use the word flagging in the State of the Union message. Oh, I know. Other than the fact that they have him saying it on video. Remember that <coughs> most of the people that support the President of the United States are from the motion picture industry. And even though it was caught on the original tape, and everybody has it's all over YouTube, it's a viral thing, it has been edited out from the official thing that said, fragging, you know, we're fragging this, fragging that. Well, what is so bad about the word fragging? Oh, because the, the people left, they, they, the people, of, okay, let's put it this way. Uh, it was a word used by Glenn Larson on, on Battlestar Galactica like 40 years ago. So? And basically, it's a term for cracking rocks. 
man, you know, or you know, are you toss a grenade into something and you frag somebody? It is. It is only a derogatory term if it is used as a derogatory term. But considering the Democrats considering fragging, you know, cracking rocks to get petroleum, that's a that's a crime against humanity. So now they're wanting it to be declared off limits by all government and press. And the, and they said the. Uh, the uh, press is full hearted. We cannot say filth at that audio network. And I heard one of the one of the people on the left. I mean, I can't say fragging. He said, "You cannot say that." Well, why can't I say fragging? Because it's fragging. You know, you know that monkey doesn't like fragging either. But they, yeah, they, every other thing was like it was like a Johnny Carson monologue. Fragging? I can't say fragging. Why can't I? Oh say my fragging? God! Yeah. <laughs> well, you know, the more you tell them not to use it, then they're oh, not use it. Oh, because a lot of the press really go bonkers when you tell them you can't do something because they know it's a joke word. And Nokia profits died as new phones slowed to take off. I think, well, I think Nokia, Nokia, which was a god awful massive company, is on the verge of its death. They said the two big companies now are Samsung. And um, and uh, was it Samsung and LG are the big players? Samsung just basically broke the bank on its on its phone sales. So oh, they broke the bank. I mean, they sold so they basically they are the number one seller of oh, really? uh, of cellular devices in the world now. They make some awesome phones. I think that. When I got my new one, I didn't want to change because the screen was so good on the Samsung. Well, I know she's got both, you know, but, okay, we have, uh, next year, all of the cell phones out there will be 3D phones. Oh, so, really? and we, uh, I, I like my little LG, it's basically, my LG is an upgrade for me from, you know, because I actually do text messages, they don't do them well, I do text messages. And Obama is flawed, but not as flawed as a Republican. Isn't that a great? With his interview, he made an interview with one of the major new television networks. I realize that I have made mistakes, but unlike Republicans, I have learned from my mistakes. Well, he keeps spending money. <laughs> he can't have learned a thing, but, but if you put in one of those Republicans, they're going to destroy the economy. It's not. Okay. The, the stock market right now is going down the drain because they just made the announcements. Well, December wasn't really as good as they said it was because of what did they people do with the stuff they bought? I don't know what they do. They returned it. Oh yeah. And uh, and the economy didn't grow as fast. Okay, they dropped the record. They dropped the growth level down before the last quarter was up, and it didn't even hit the expectations after they dropped it down because people aren't buying. And fried food, not a direct cause of heart risk, and you study fine. Isn't that amazing? Considering people used to live for a zillion years and all they ate was fried food. Mm -hmm. They didn't eat mm -hmm. vegetables, they didn't eat produce, they ate fried food. Well, maybe if you fried in good stuff. Yeah. And corruption scandal shakes the Vatican as internal letters leaked. Well, God, yeah, I mean, you don't think with that much stuff. Okay, they've got a treasury vault, and I actually got to see the stuff in the Vatican once. You know, I, I knew somebody that had pool, and they give me a guided tour to go, oh my God, it looked like, you know, like the uh, national treasure all over again. They got stuff from everywhere in the God awful world sitting in there, and they just sit on it. And Obama to decide what is fair when it comes to how much money one should make. Ooh, I heard, I heard Democrats in the business world went ballistic this morning on his statements last night. Uh, and, uh, you know that, I, you know, somebody has to decide what is a fair amount for a person to make. And if Congress won't decide it, then I may have to take it under my own power and decide whether or not you are making too much money, which basically went over like a lead balloon to the union people who all make more a year than his figures allow for. Oh. And oh, low IQ and conservative beliefs linked to prejudice. Oh yeah, that's the Democratic think tank dreamed that one up to try to make it look like all Republicans are prejudiced. They all of a sudden backtracked when they found out that a god awful amount of the people that are supporters of the Democratic Party do not have, we're not Rhodes Scholars. In fact, a lot of them didn't even go to high school. Oh, really? And then they discovered, guess what? And they, uh, they said liberal Demo liberals tend to be Democrat and tolerant. And uh, they discovered, you know, when they discovered that, they said the majority of Rhodes Scholars are all Republicans. And they're, and they're liberal Republicans, so. And a Monty bubbleism from the Mark Twain of the Animal Kingdom. Okay. Just because you see it snowing up to your butt, does not mean it is snowing up to your butt in today's modern age. 